So you're new to YouTube like me and you are looking into creating a thumbnail. Well, Canva is there to help you. I'm a big fan of Canva and I'm going to show you how I'm doing my thumbnails. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert in thumbnails, but Canva is definitely helping me in the process. If you've never worked on Canva before, please check out my tutorial just to orientate yourself to Canva, but I'm going to dive straight into it. So where I go is, you can see these are options that I've used before, but normally I would either type here or I would go to create a design and you can go here to YouTube, YouTube thumbnail. And by the way, you can do your YouTube banner on Canva as well. And basically what that means is that Canva knows what the dimensions should be for a thumbnail for YouTube, a banner for YouTube, an Instagram post or a reel. I'm making videos about those, so stay tuned. But Canva knows how to adjust the size, which means when you download it and you upload it to whichever platform you are using it, it's not going to cut off your design on any of the edges because it fits perfectly. YouTube thumbnail. And look at that. It looks like I'm scrolling on YouTube. So you can scroll through any of these, decide what you like. If you're on the free version, watch out for the little crown because that's pro. You can't use that. You, can't, you can use it, you can play on it, but you cannot download it without paying. So you can now go and see what you really like. Okay, let's take the fitness lady. Maybe you like it. You can see if there are other thumbnails that you like better. Let's just stick with this one for now. So anything on this thumbnail is customizable. You change it the way you want to. So this lady is separate. You can see she's a cutout. You might want to add your own picture, but you do get cutouts on Canva as well if you don't want to add your own face. So what do I mean by that? Let me kindly remove the lady and then we go to elements. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for a let's see, man in gym clothes. Photos. Oh, I like this guy. Where is this? This one is quite nice. So now I can decide what do I want to do with it. Do I want to adjust the picture? Maybe I want to fill the background and see what that looks like. But then the text stands out. So now I'm going to change my text color to maybe a bright yellow. You can see literally all of these things are changeable. So I want it's black and red. Uh, it needs to be yellow and blue. So it's a little bit of work. But the thing is you don't have to design. You can just change the colors. You can just customize it. You can see there. I can keep changing. But perhaps I don't want to use the guy as is and I want to remove the background. So I'm going to go there. This is on Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro, check out my video on how you remove a background on the free version with the app that I'm using. So now there's a little bit of action there. But you often see that there's a little bit of an outline around the thumbnails, right? So I can do that and I can go to shadows. And this is on the free version as well. So I can choose an outline. Then here you can see I can choose a color, drag it around to whatever. Oh, that's actually not bad whatever I want. Normally you would go white, but let's say we want to go a little bit of yellow. And here you can choose the size, whether it's, so it completely frames the object that you are working with. You can even use a drop shadow, like that. And it can blur amount, then it goes smaller, bigger, size, or just a glow around him. And you can make the glow more, you can see he's getting very glowy. So if you use one of these other thumbnails, so let's look at more designs. I'm going to add another page and I use one of these where it's a block behind it. If you want to create a little bit of depth, you just create another block that you make transparent. So what does it mean? So say I'm using that block. If I'm duplicating it, you can see it's not covering that one. So I'm going to add it just a little bit. If you want to create a shadow with, with depth, it needs to be over two sides because when something has a shadow, it will have a shadow either bottom, right, bottom, left. So I'm going to say this is going to be transparent to about there. You can play with it. It doesn't matter what it is. You can play around with it and see what happens now if I change the position to going to the back. Immediately, if I remove this, immediately you, create, you get the perception that it's actually standing out from the picture and there's some depth to it. But now you might feel like this is great. You love everything about your thumbnail, but you need to test it before you upload it to YouTube because YouTube adds the time and duration of your video in the bottom right corner, depending on what device you are using to scroll through YouTube. And that might block whatever you're having here. And also if you look from far away, so if I make this really small, 
can I actually see what's written there? Sometimes you have a lot more text so it does become smaller but it's good to keep the text minimal, not that I follow that rule all the time, but that if it's really small, you can still see what's going on there. And here I can see my guy is quite small, so maybe I will make him a little bit bigger and adjust my text accordingly. You see, so you can play around with it. So now I've got my thumbnails and I want to test them. So I download them, I only download one of them as a JPEG is fine. And then this is the trick one, you go to thumbs up dot tv and you can see so here's the image that i just downloaded otherwise you can click and you go and fetch it wherever it is and then you type in whatever title you have in mind whatever you type in i'm not exactly the fitness guru here watch the magic happens here this is how it looks in your web browser sidebar channel mobile here you can see exactly what it looks like and this is where you can see you see there's a duration of your video all of this is just showing you what it will look like but you can see is anything covered so if I had moved work out all the way to the corner people will only read 15 minute every morning work they won't be able to see it so that is a nice way to check like is my thumbnail actually working and is the text on it visible if you just scroll through it and then you can also toggle to a dark mode if you just want to see if it actually pops and stand out if someone should have dark mode on on their phone I hope that was really helpful. If you have made any cool thumbnails on YouTube, please let me know below that I can have a look what your channel looks like. If you want to know how to make a logo, check out my video about the logos here and you'll see how easy it is to make a logo on Canva as well. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.